Hey, uh, what you doing over there, man? What's going on? Oh, hey guys. I, uh, I'm, well, I'm work. I'm trying to get us a sponsor because, so they say, I just, hold on, I'm just going to cut this. Let me put this down. Okay. They say that, uh, their birth certificate is an apology from the condom factory. Being louder. In, what? Huh? You mean you louder? Me? Yeah. You want me to be louder? Yeah. Yeah, they say the birth certificate is an apology from the condom factory. Uh huh. So I was thinking we should get a sponsor like Trojan. Why are you doing so that? So I'm building something. I'm building a body condom. Yeah, I'm building a body condom. So I just thought that it would be good. I already have a slogan for the body condom. You guys want to hear it? Yeah. Might as well. In times like these, uh huh. Like a pandemic, you can't touch your face, and neither should your lover. Who can you trust with your body? Trojan. Because you can't spell virus without you and I. Yeah? Yeah? Wow. I, I have many questions. <laughs> it's a comment section full of bullshit. So how many of these condoms are you preparing to build? A body condom? Yeah. I mean, I just also, think... Also, are they thin? Are you prepared for all the safe shapes and, and sizes? You, are they 98% effective? I have only built... Half of one, and I'm thinking when well, I how is the packaging gonna look? Yeah, I'm gonna need to hire somebody. For is it like packaging. like one of those inflatable pools where it's like you know the little square how, like the dimensions about like what four are the inches sizes gonna be inches. named? Are you gonna I, call the really six foot six one Magnum or something like I was that? I'm gonna call it black. Oh my god, I'm glad I brought you guys in on this project so early. I don't. Ha- I, I was just gonna build the condom. This my, is why we don't have a sponsor. By I Trojan. was well, that's probably true. I was just trying to figure out how I was gonna solve the squeaking problem. I figure if you put on a body condom, you come down the hall, squeak, squeak, squeak. It's not sexy. So I was trying to like make a quiet body condom, but you guys have like actual problems. No, also, are you naked in this body condom? And you don't have to be really. Also, it, is once it you're... visible through? Like, can people see? No, you can't see through it. So once well, how you're would in you there, walk down the hallway, you have to have a help. Your lover will have to help you. Only one of you has to wear the condom. Once and, you're in the body and... condom, the other person can just do whatever. So it's like a sleeping bag. Yeah, and is this condom? Yes. Is this so a sex sleeping bag. Yes, a, a sex bag, really. How what, how do you get your dick out of it? No, your dick stays in. But how do you have sex? Through the condom, like a regular condom. It's nice sheepskin, and, and there's some wood. Oh, so one of you is in the condom, yeah. not both of you? Right, and then that person oh, is so in the condom. Oh, so you have, your, you have a little like, dick hole, and, you, and, that, no, and that's the, your condom. If the dick came through a hole, there'd be no reason to have a condom. No, no, no. No, 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 no. I'm saying, so here's it covers your whole body, right? Right. It's and a then, body condom. Now, here, here's your It's like a glove for your dick. Hold on, hold on. Duracell is describing what it looks like all right, all right. over a podcast listen, with his hands. Listen, <laughs> your chest is, let's say your chest is going straight down. So your, your, stomach, so your chest and is up here. Dick, right? Okay, your chest goes straight to your And then it just goes like that. <laughs> How do you go from chest to one inch of stomach and then the next inch your dick? <laughs> okay, okay. How short are you? Shut up, shut up. Now, is there going to be a little part to like put your dick in that? Like, hang, like a glove. Like a little, yeah, like a glove. Like a, yeah, no, it's going to fit like a glove. Is that okay. what you're saying? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. oh like a I'm finger, asking. like a phalange spot? Like yes. You just slide your slide member your dick in, in that yeah, little part. Right, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, so okay. it's like putting a sheet over your dick and then fucking her. Yeah. But, but it's, it's all, a condom. But it's right. all over your whole body. It's made of sheepskin and some wood. The wood's for stability. And I thought that would help with the squeaking if there was a little bit of wood in Why there. Why would they be squeaking? Well, imagine if you cover yourself in rubber, you're going to squeak. This sounds More better like, for a slip and slide than sex. Yeah, I would I would get in a side of... Whoa, that'd be even cooler. Extreme so, slipping slide. So maybe we... Sh- why is it extreme? Because your dick's hanging out? Well, no, because yeah. you're like in a sleeping bag that goes down like a... I mean, anything. Almost Wait anything that's like lubricated. I'm hearing that I should abandon the Trojan sponsorship and go for like Hasbro. Yeah. Because children... Does Hasbro support naked people? I don't think so because they're more of a well, children's company. You don't have company. to be naked. You can, you can wear swim trunks. Listen, nobody's naked more than children. Wow. <laughs> Just wow! They're born naked, and then they get their change. They're naked. Yeah, like five but like times a day. when I think of a kid, I think of a six-year-old. I don't think of like two months. Yeah. Well, and even then, when you think of a kid, you go straight to a six-year-old. No, well, I not, think of the ranges between four and ten. Yeah, four and ten. That's about reasonable. Toddler is between their born and their. I think a toddler is no, like toddlers two. one to three. I thought toddlers and a baby were baby is months to year. Yeah, well, ba- okay, see, I can we, agree with baby this is why, year, but I'm pretty sure toddlers uh, the year between one and two. It's bullshit like this that got me to build the body condom in the first place. So I don't have any more fucking children. Well, how much is the body to, condom going to cost? Because I might invest in Oh, this. that's the best part. I think it should be government subsidized. It should be free. It should be free? Yeah. Buy it, it, it cuts down. Condoms free? No, but no. they should. Why should that be free? 25 cents. I think condoms, birth station, control, though. I think all that should be under health care and your insurance should pay for it. Hmm. Follow me for more political advice. 
I mean, so how much do they make the con or how much do they? Listen, I'm building a fucking body condom in my garage with some sheepskin and some wood. You guys are way how far are you ahead. Are the sheepskin? Are you killing your own oh, sheep? Oh, that's a whole other thing. I bought them from this guy named Omad. Oh my, ah, uh, I know that guy. Yeah. yeah. He's nice. Pretty nice guy. He makes, he makes great lamb kebabs. Mm. What does he do in the winter? We don't talk I, about him in the winter. I don't know what he does in the winter. <laughs> I don't go around going, hey, buddy, you and I are pretty good friends now. What do you do in like all four seasons? Walk me through it. Oh, what, what's your springtime routine? Well, in springtime, I normally like to like stay inside, and if it's like a really good day outside, I'll just toss a frisbee around. I'm not actually in. You uh, live a sad life, don't you? In high school, I was him? in an have ultimate frisbee league. league. Have you well, seen? Yeah, coach? I, I can see him here. No. <laughs> I can see coaches right in front of me. Sometimes I'm mowing the yard, and you know we just have a fence between us, right? So I look over coach's backyard, and I see a frisbee, and I'm like, oh, coach is playing frisbee with like Karen or something. I go back, he's just throwing a frisbee to himself. By yourself? Yeah. yeah. You don't even have a dog. Have you ever played Ultimate Frisbee? Yeah. <laughs> so you just, need a team for I'm, that. I'm though. teaching, That's a team I'm teaching game. myself how to throw it, but like run as fast as I can to try to catch. I it. mean, so you're building stamina. Yes. By the way, I don't think mm. frisbee is a team sport. Yes, it is. Ultimate Frisbee, Ultimate frisbee is 100 percent team sport. Have you not played Ultimate Frisbee? I guess not. It's so pretty it's like, aggressive. It, okay, it's so almost it's, like cricket. It's like uh, no. Sorry. Uh, what's the one? With the like, what's it called? So rugby. Rugby. Lacrosse? So many hands. Lacrosse. There we go. Lacrosse. So it's like, it's lacrosse, like okay, so you have a frisbee. Someone throws it, and you can only move like three steps, right? No, two steps. And two steps, and then you have to throw it to your next person, but the but person you're allowed to pivot. And wait, I know it's not like frisbee golf where you're trying to get it into something, right? It's, it's kind of like, like football. football. It's like football with goals, yeah. Yeah. And, and this zones. is a sport. Yes. Yeah. Ultimate frisbee. Look it yeah. up. No, I don't want to do that. I did it in I'll high school. I'll look it up for you, and I'll find clips for you. Professional ultimate frisbee. Oh, that sounds exciting. Oh, yeah. So exciting. There was this one. I saw this so satisfying. Where he threw it, and the guy was running, running, running. He grabbed it midair and just slid into the end zone. It was amazing. Wow. Wow. I loved it. It's kind of fascinating. Yeah. I uh, I have a little bit of a show for us today. Uh, well, I found a video of uh, Ultimate Frisbee. Jesus and the Christs. What is the video show? Well, there's five seconds of ads. So wait, you hold, wait, hold up. Bit. What color is the Frisbee? White. Oh. Is that disappointing? Well, yeah, they say the color of the frisbee is the higher like rank you are in playing frisbee. I'm pretty sure the highest rank's like light purple. Oh my god, there's like a hundred people playing. Yeah, ultimate frisbee. Wow, and they're like playing on a football field. Yep. Yeah, this is definitely more intense than I. I had in my head like a couple of guys in the street. I was deemed oh. the best catcher and the best. Um, Did you say deemed? Yeah. Somebody came out and like deemed you. I got a reward. It's got, I got an award. You got, a, you like, got a reward after you were deemed. Yeah. It's exciting. Pretty cool. Um, you guys want to hear the agenda? I do. Uh, By the way, this is uh, if, you, if you're listening at home, we moved to a monthly. It's a monthly podcast now. Yeah. So we have to change the name of something. What do you uh, mean? Oh. Yeah. Change Can't the name be of the what? question of the week anymore. Yeah. If it's the question of the month now. Which oh, makes that, which you, really, that puts more weight on the questions' importance. Because yeah. it's like a whole month question. Stum. We're doing a quam. We're doing a quam. A quam. Okay. Yeah. It's an exquisite. Mo- Wait, never mind. I'm not going to say that. Exquisite quam? Exquisite, exquisite <laughs> quam. I ate an exquisite quam once. I was in Vietnam. That gave me the crabs. But that's a whole other story. Okay. Here is so the agenda. Ready? Wu Tang and Yu Tang. Is that the women version what about of Wu Tang? But listen, don't try to figure out the agenda. It's unfigurable. I really like Tang. Wu Tang and Yu Tang. None sounds nice, but nah. I have no. Yeah, you can't guess. Yeah. Caterpillar of Death. What's that one about? Penises. Caterpillar that kills. It's not about penises. Why would I name my penis the Caterpillar of Death? <laughs> I would name mine Quum. <laughs> Which Quam. brings up an interesting question. Do you name your penis? I have never named my penis. I don't know anybody who's named their penis. Do I? Unless you guys have named your penis. You both have named your penis, haven't you? <laughs> Holy fuck balls. What's the name? Roll it out. To be honest, I'm trying to think of one right now. Coach is going to die. He's I laughing don't, I don't so have hard. one. Oh, you don't have one? No, but that, I was trying to think of one. I think that's normal. I don't know. Look it up. Do people, I don't know why, but the first name that came to my head was Quantum Realm. For your penis? Yep. Okay. Google what. <laughs> do you? Did you name yours, Coach? Huh? Have you named yours? I mean, there's been like a few names going f- back. More than forth. one? Now, is it more of like a fantasy name or is it like an actual real person name? How would you name your penis? I, I do. Hi, this, uh, my name is, uh, you know, Coach, and uh, my penis name is Robert. <laughs> <laughs> he has a little, uh, little uh, penis kind of. Well, that makes kinda... sense because you know Dick. Wait, it makes sense? Like, yeah. Oh, because, Richard, yeah. Dick, Robert, Coach. Yeah, it all comes Richard, to one. Richard, and, and this is my dick. Richard and Sphere down there. 
Uh, I do oh, know women have who have named. Balls. I do know women who have named their stuff. Their vagina? Yeah, they've named. They've given it names. Wait, say it again. Vagina. Oh, I heard an F the first time. Vagina. The the V is for fun. Okay, while you looking I, at what it, am I looking up? Uh, how many people name their penis? Yeah, so let's review. We have four agenda: Wu Tang and you. Baby arm. There we go. Baby arm. That's what you named your penis. Oh no, no! Like that was just the name of a penis I could think of. Well, <laughs> that was um. You just thought of a penis and and its name. Are you cheating on Karen with a guy? No, a guy who. Are you on the down low? <laughs> oh my! My brother is. I I I had a, <laughs> had a conversation one time. And in the middle of the conversation, the guy was talking about how he had an STD one time. Oh, wow. I'm sorry. I have to interrupt. Hold this. on. No, let me finish. And the, and, he, and I said, oh, my God, the STD goes, yeah, my penis looked like a baby goat holding an apple. Oh, my <laughs> I've God. Never, I've, I've never forgotten that description. What? That's yeah. amazing. All right. Guess how many, how many, how much percentage of men name, name their, their penis? penis? Guess. Well, since you're freaking out, I'm going to say 70, but I, I think it's more like I think 2%. 85, and if it's not 85 and we're guessing on the low end, I'm guessing 42. It's 73. Wow. Wait, seriously, have you ever named your penis? No. Duracell. Named your penis? No, yes no, or no. I, Coach, you ever named your I've wrong. named it a few times, but I forgot the names because I thought they were funny in the moment. I've never of the named my penis. It's never occurred to me to name it. I mean, its name is Adam. I'm Adam. It's Adam. We're one thing. We work together <laughs> to solve our problems. 72% problems of those solved? people All went of the with problems. a nickname that evokes strength and power. Like what? And Monster I stick. don't know. And 59% say a woman can come up with a nickname. Hi, I'm Adam. This is my penis. Max power. Oh, my. Oh. What would wait. be a good dick I name? I've never had a woman nickname Plus it either. ultra. <laughs> Plus ultra. <laughs> Yo. Size 12. Well, it said 59% of men make women name their dick. I, womb what? Broom. So you, so they Moon say to the Raider, woman, name it. Weapon of just like, destruction. Be like, I wonder if women have had names for it. They didn't tell me. Sex pistol. Well, yeah. I mean, that's obvious. Okay. Harry Glock. Uncle Remus. <laughs> you say Harry Glock? Yep. Are you just making these up right now? Trouser snake. Are you? Wait, hold on. Coach is going down a list. Coach, are you reading a list of penis names? Tan banana. <laughs> <laughs> a tan banana. The tan banana. Oh, my. Okay, I'm going to try this agenda one more time. Let me get through it. There's okay. only four oh. fucking lines. All right, Can I say one right. more thing? Sure, coach. The one-eyed trouser trout. Yeah, that's I've heard that. And I have heard that, but I thought that was a joke name. You think there's somebody walking around actually referring to it as that? Moby Dick. Long Dong Silver. Yeah, that's yeah. mine. Those are just silly names. I've heard uh. those my whole life, but I didn't think they were real. Like people okay, actually, let's go on with the agenda. Uh, Wu-Tang and Yu-Tang. None sounds nice, but nah. Caterpillar of Death and... The Simpsons. I like The Simpsons. They predict like a lot of stuff. I like that? Yeah. Now, you guys know about the Wu-Tang Clan, right? Yeah, I have a shirt. They have like some the really Wu-Tang good old juice. From Staten Island. Yep. New York. Yep. I don't know. Who Can you guys are. name the Wu-Tang Clan? Oh, God. Name no. any member. Old of the Dirty Wu-Tang. Bastard. You got one. Yeah, Not by because heart. there's a good donut shop with the Old Dirty Bastard. And the it's do- like Oreos, uh, peanut yeah. butter, what is that? caramel. Voodoo Donuts. Yeah, it's Voodoo Donuts. I don't think I can name one. Rizza. Come on. You got Rizza. Lizzo. I have the memory of Dory. Justice so. Beaver. No, that's not. You're not naming it. Rizza, Giza, ODB, Method Man, Ghostface Killer. Well, while we're on this topic, isn't there a... a Requan. Isn't there an app that shows you your, your Inspect name? Inspect the deck. Name? Yeah, that's how um, Dan mm-hmm. Glubber got his name. Yeah. Well, I feel like we should What's go on that website. Childish Gambino. Yeah, Childish Gambino. Childish Gambino. I feel Gambino. like you should go on that website and see our rap name. Oh, that's a good idea. Pull Our rap name is a Dynamic Nagician. I did Wu-Tang, it earlier today. Wu-Tang Generator. Uh, Kappa, named- Capadonna Master Killer. Okay. That was hard. But I really like the Wu-Tang. I've seen them in concert. I saw them in concert. Well, I almost saw them in concert with Rage Against the Machine. And the rumor was they got arrested and they could Method do Man. Method- I said Method Man. Are oh. you just, are you just, no, no, no. I'm, you just I'm like on, randomly I'm reading out names? Thing, and it said, it's reading, it's saying their names. Okay, look. Rizza is, to me, the heart and the soul of the Wu-Tang Clan. He's the beat provider he's kind of the inspiration i just think without him there wouldn't they might still all be rappers but i don't think there'd be a clan right so i like rizzo a lot so i follow him on social media i follow him all over the place my rap name is the thunderous bandit the thunderous bandit yeah nice very nice can you do any put put my name in there all right how does it how does it you just, just like your full sit, name put your full name yeah in there. put it in there and let's see what it does Mine's Dynamic Magician. Oh, you already did it? Yeah. Oh, that's great. All right. 
Duracell's going to tell me my... That's amazing leader. Amazing leader? Yeah. I love it. I'll take it. All right. Riza has uh, these... I have a couple of his... Um, oh, my God. I just albums? Totally, well, yeah, his albums. <coughs> but... Um, Shirts? Meditation. Oh. He does meditation. So he put out a website. Uh, you can go to WuTangClan.net. You can play some some Riza meditation. Oh, they have tool sheds. My chamber was inside my basement. That's why I spent many hours of my formative years surrounded by comic books, VHS tapes, kung fu movies, and gadgets, my turntables and equipment. And with that came my music. That was all I had. It was that undisturbed habitat that allowed for deeper exploration, that allowed me to reach my full potential. Now, I'm not there physically anymore, but I can... Super... This is the whole, like, meditation? Yeah, there's... There, you can go on Spotify. It's more uh, like a pep talk. More yeah. like a pep talk? Well, yeah. I mean, it's kind of pep talky. Uh, I've listened to all of it. Really? Yeah, how I many, do. Like, how, is there episodes or... Um, yeah, they're broken out into, like, tracks, like a song. But they, they're like... So that one um, is called uh, Fan Your Flames. There's one called Bite or Stop Barking. How many uh, tracks are there? Um, well, on here on his website, he just shows four, but I think on the actual album, there's like a whole 12. And I think this is just the first of many. He's going to do a couple of these, but uh, I love that Riz is doing meditation. That's sort of cool. And I felt like the people that listened to the comment section bullshit needed to know. Yeah. That the Wu-Tang Clan is not just, you know, wrapping it up. Now it's got they're, meditation. They're meditating it out. Yeah. So, you know, you got to think about that next time you're thinking about the Wu-Tang and the All clan. Right. I think the only clan that should be, like, you know, world-renowned known is the Wu-Tang Clan. Yeah. I wonder if they re- regret the word clan or if it was not on purpose. Because I know they they formed a bunch of, of uh, kung fu movies. That's, like, where they got that from. There was a lot of clans. But, like, in hindsight, in America, being a black person, I wonder if they're like, oh, fuck, we, shucked, we fucked up. We shouldn't have called ourselves anything clan. No, I, I don't know. they really care. I, I think it might have been even a little bit on purpose, like, because they can't own that name. You know, like, we own the name. They can't own the name kind of thing. Yeah. From them, their perspective. Yeah. Anyway, I really dig the Wu Tang. Um, so there's this nun moving along. Nun. As we will. Uh, here's her picture. That doesn't look like a nun. She looks well, oddly she familiar. She looks like a drunk. Apparently, like a porn star. Uh, she uh, she agreed with you. So she's now About. a former pastor. She was a nun, and she was a pastor. So you know, to be a nun, I feel like you got to like what dedicate a certain amount of time to. Wait, women food. can be pastors? Yeah. So, My life has changed. As a nun, you can't like. I'm glad I could do that for you. Right? If you you can't what you can't you can't. <laughs> yeah, I think if you're a nun, you're or... not wearing the body condom. Yeah, I think that that's off the table. Well, I don't think a nun could wear a body condom. What do you mean? I was I making it, for it men specifically for a nun. penis patch. Uh, well, you could just stuff the penis patch in, and then it works the other way. It's a reversible body condom. I feel like the whole design for this condom is to suffocate Holy people. Shit, I was building condoms. it in my garage again to suffocate people. What's when that? What's that? Condoms. What's that? A that kink auto erotic dis- asphyxiation. Yeah, Asphysi- asphyxiation. I think you made it for that. Say. I didn't make it for that. I made it for safe sex during a pandemic. Yeah, but how are you going to breathe through it? I haven't got that he fucking made it far. For the horny bastards. Okay. During a global pandemic. Okay. Maybe maybe you plug into the back. You plug in like right behind, like right here, like an oxygen hose, and it just like plumps up a little bit, like a little, one of those fat samurai suits, and you got fresh oxygen in there, and you could flavor it, like you got blueberry. Yeah. What about that? My condom yeah. smells like blueberry. The inside of this condom smells like blueberry. Well, that's great, baby. Um, let's get this done. <laughs> You've made a flavored <laughs> gas tank that you can stick your penis in one. You're the nice of. Hitler. A nice Hitler. I just want people to be able to love each other during a pandemic. That's really all there comes down to. It. The horny people. I mean, all the people that could be not horny, horny, whatever. Well, if in the same household, they don't really have to worry about it. What do you mean? I mean, they're in a global pandemic. They're in the same Safe house sex is for everyone. I'm not saying that part. I'm saying the the, oh, the pandemic part. Yeah. Well, no, this is for people who want to like go to their neighbor's house or like you know having sex with their neighbor. Maybe I don't. Who am I to judge what they're doing with their neighbor? All right. But you've also got to make sure like COVID can't get through the suit. Then. Oh no, that's the first thing I'm doing. I'm gonna I'm gonna go to like COVID safe condoms. Yeah. It's a, I think it's a thing. Sounds impossible. And that's, if so, if it is made, that sounds painful. 
if it's possible and I pull it off in my garage, I'm going to be a billionaire and I'm going to take you guys with me. Did you know? If Jeff- it's not possible and I go into a huge amount of debt over this and they take my house, I'm living with you, coach. You know, Jeff Bezos makes like six thousand four hundred dollars in a second. Why? Yeah. What? Where did that come from? Billionaires. He's like, a oh, trillion. <laughs> I don't know. Couldn't connect those things. All right. Former pastor gave up the pulpit. I think pulpit's a funny word. Uh, to become a stripper. Wait. So I was right. She does look like a porn star, and she's look now a her, porn look star. Look at her face. Like if you saw. Uh, yeah. No. Yeah, you would want to like come a, on that. She, <laughs> oh my god. Sorry. <laughs> you know when you can't not if you're wearing a body condom, you're protected from that kind of thing. She looks oh like a my. drunk college student. She doesn't look like a pastor or a nun. No. no. It's funny that she does look like a stripper. Well, like, I don't know how to feel about how I feel about it. We all have like weird preconceived notions of strippers. But I if mean. I showed you this person and I was like, hey, what does she do for a living? You'd probably guess stripper or teacher. No, my <laughs> first thought was college student. Why, are, why is teacher? I didn't think of teacher. I instantly I feel, thought of okay, stripper. Wait, wait, ready? Kindergarten teacher. No. No? Mm, second, second, grade, grade. second grade, second grade, second grade teacher. She's right there. Second grade teacher. Second no, grade. it's either that substitute teacher that you've always wanted, or it's um, yeah, no you stripper. You getting on with your substitute teacher? Well, if you can't get along with your regular teacher, you got to throw in the sub. Put There's me a, in, coach. I'm ready to play. Sub's only there for a few <laughs> days or less. Yeah, she's in. She's out. It's really like a two week romance at, at tops. Yeah, I'm with coach on this. It's kind of like oh seniors my. dating sophomores. It's nothing like that. It's much more illegal than that. (laughs) It's much more (laughs) illegal. All right. uh, So this chick, she grew up religiously Baptist. Is that a word? Religiously Baptist? How do you say that, right? I think it's just religiously or Baptist. She was Baptist. Okay. So she was Baptist. Her religion religion. was Baptist. I guess it's right. Yeah. Um, And she she didn't regret it. She thought it was great. She had no questions. Uh, Here's her posing. Oh, she has a... Uh, Instagram. Should we like check and click it out? Yes. What's the Instagram? I'm, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell, tell you. I'm going to tell you. Okay. Her her Instagram. Hold on. Oh, oh, here. I can't read it. I got old man eyes. Mayonnaise look Sour Patch li- Kids? Oh, sorry. What? Coach. It's fucking nasty. <laughs> Coach opened social media and went straight to Mayonnaise Sour Patch Kids. What kind of social media Man, are you on? why he has diabetes. No, read it. I could, it's too small. Read her name. What's it? How, what's the Michelle? 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 <laughs> Michelle. I'm just lexic, guys. Give it to Duracell. See Wait. if he can read it. We got, we got, I, we got, can't read like it, and Mitchell. Here. I got you. I got it. It's Michelle Nicole. Give me Michelle the damn phone. That's, that's clearly Michelle Nicole. Give me the phone. Neither you can read. Give me the phone. Oh, yeah. Is, I see what you mean, though. It's, it's spelled weird. Nicole. It's spelled like Mitch. Are you giving me your small phone or not? Hell. Yeah. Here, take my small phone. And then Nicole is spelled N-I-K-O-L-E. Yeah, it's all weird. Did it's like someone it? spelling sharp with two so P's. What, you got the Any. Instagram up. Duracell stole my phone. What are we, what are we talking about here? I can oh, no, clearly she's, read that, she's by clearly, the way. She clearly does porn. Oh, my gosh. She's got... Look up she has an on OnlyFans. She, you guys, she has an OnlyFans? No, I'm not opening Pornhub on the podcast. She's got an OnlyFans? Look up her name on Wait, Pornhub. Wait, did you say she has an OnlyFans? She has an OnlyFans. So this chick went from like complete... She has a whole story dedicated to BLM. I'm telling you, Christian look at, girls are freaky. Look at oh, this. Oh, they are. They are freaky. You guys, look at this post. Look at it. Dude, she's naked in this one. Look. Oh you my see God, her she, nipple. She is naked. Well, Look at this post, though. Wrong. Look at the post. Wait, 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 what does it say? All right. I'm taking my glasses off. It says, all month long I've been praying about what to offer you and what would best serve and support you. I could tell God was up to something. She's talking about God in her sex post. God sex <clears throat> post. Woo-hoo. I'm with this woman. <laughs> she says, I want you to experience the most love, happiness, success, and abundance. How I want you followers to- does she have? Uh, how do I tell that? Bisexual. Oh, she has twenty four hundred. Well, this one picture has twenty four hundred uh, likes. How do I tell how many here? How do you tell how many followers she has? Well, click on her account. <clears throat> I don't like clicking on things. One hundred and seven k. Wow. And she has two. And they probably 2, all go to her. A hundred of them probably go to her old church. Pastor turned stripper. This is in her bio of Instagram. How much money do you make as a pastor? <laughs> It depends on the church. I'm thinking you can make anywhere from 30 to 100K in a regular church. More than that if it's like a mega church, I guess. I'm making those numbers up, but I feel like they're pretty solid. A month or like a year? Yes, coach. Because she made 25 grand uh, last month. That's way more than she made as a pastor. That's like lawyer money. I mean, strippers be making that bank. She has a stripper. She has an OnlyFans. She has a Twitter. What's the WAP chick? She was a stripper, right? Oh, what ass pussy Cardi, B. Cardi B. Yeah, What's the other one? Ma- Kylie Minogue. Mano- Kylie Mano- no, Kylie Minaj. Kylie Minaj? I think I thought it was uh, the three Megan Stallions or whatever it's called. Um, Good Christ. Her 
Yeah, read her bio. Instagram is like straight nudity. No, read her bio. Oh, it's, it, it. She's been on <laughs> Jimmy Fallon or something like that. This chick's been on Jimmy Fallon? Yeah, read her bio. I don't want to read the bio. Read the bio. I'll point, get to the just bio. Post pictures of yourself naked. Like, look I at mean, this. look she's at this. Clearly is this naked. The one you found? Is this the one you're looking at? No, I'm looking at this it? one. Yeah, she's not wearing any clothes there. I didn't expect this to be. I thought the story was just going to be how she had done this. I didn't know it was going to be. And here we go. You guys are having a fun time, aren't you? <laughs> you want to borrow my I'll phone? Send you you have a phone? I'll send you the link. Duracell, we both know what? that you're already following her, aren't you? No. <laughs> um, Instagram in public. Oh, she has a backup Instagram account. Let me check these. Yeah, out. No, a backup a, one? It said that in her bio. What's a backup one? Like Where a, you have like an Instagram, but sometimes you get taken down because of your nudity. So you have a backup one with all your nudity plus you more. You really knew that quickly. Well, it, backup, man. Like <laughs> if you have a backup on your computer, that means it's to the last update um, you had on your computer. Okay. Even though it said she grew up Baptist and she was happy with that, it also she also says uh, she's always wanted to be a stripper. She's been dreaming about being a stripper since she was a kid. What's a stripper name? That's a good question. Ooh. She never felt like she had the freedom to pursue it. From a young age, I had fantasized about being a stripper, but I was fantasized indoctrinated to believe my desire and my body were innately sinful. Wow. Cinnamon. Oh, is it really? No, I just want her stripper name to be Cinnamon. Oh. She became a pastor, but get this, her family wasn't happy she was a pastor. <laughs> Wait, so she thought, oh, stripper's the next she, Here you go, idea. coach. Check it out. I was taught that women aren't allowed to lead and that women being in the kitchen, women belong in the kitchen with the children. So even though it went against everything I was told, I decided to become a pastor. <clears throat> this chick, uh, well, you got to give it to her. She's doing what she's always wanted to do and makes her happy. I mean, yeah. Wow. Oh, she's also got Relationship Hero. It's a website where she gives out dating advice. And it's the best, so rated the best one on the web. Let's click on that. Relationship Hero is loading. Um, so she's making a lot of money. <coughs> so she's making $25,000. Oh, let's yeah. fill it out. Let's fill it out. So it's questionnaire, okay? You, let's right. just, you guys tell me what you want. Well, I'm doing the So 20. it says, what are you struggling with? Uh, here are the options. You ready? Getting my ex back. Guys, she makes $300,000 a year. I don't know what to tell you, man. Are we all going to do three kids fucking too. podcasting Age job? 10, 7, and 4. We should all become strippers. You know why she has three kids? Why? She didn't have a body condom. Um, all right. That's why you should buy them. Buy strippers? No, body condom. Oh, yeah, if you're listening. This is your thing. You should know this. If you're out there listening. All right, let me answer Okay, listen, questions. here's the questions. What are you struggling with? There's a <laughs> five or six you got to pick. Uh-huh. Getting back at my ex. Uh-huh. Coping with a breakup. Mm-hmm. Moving on. Dating. Building attraction. Breaking unhealthy relationship patterns. Dealing with six. Dealing. Uh, Wait, say it again. <laughs> <laughs> He's too busy. This is her dating website. Got it. So her, to get on the set, you have to answer some questions. Okay. The first question is, what are you struggling with? Wrong. First question is, are you over the age of eighteen? <laughs> that didn't come up. It just loaded like this. That's that's the problem. <laughs> that is a problem. <laughs> For every website that has to deal with having sex or having relationship with others, you have well, to. I, I think you're right. No, I think you're sex. right. I no, that, that's 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 the law. I'm pretty sure. I don't think it's a law. I think no. it's a best practice. I think it's a cybercrime no, law. I don't. Know. What the fuck? It could be. I guess. I don't think. I think um, if as long as it's relationships, not sex. I think okay. It's fine. Okay. What does relationships lead to? What does it have to be sex? Oh yes, have they lead to sex. Ele- did you have sex in elementary school? Well, hold on. No, but did you have a, a valid relationship in elementary school? Wait, hold on, hold on. Relationships is not just sex. No, yeah. I'm not saying it's not just sex, but I'm saying it does lead to sex. I have a relationship sex. with both of you. Okay, this but that's a different really type of relationship. Right, that's what I'm saying. That was too <laughs> weird. Really gay. <laughs> okay, listen. It's okay to be gay. I'm Don't talking worry. about a relationship between a male and oh. a female that find oh, each other look. attractive. Oh, wait, ask me that for That meet on a website for getting attracted to others. Well, I, well, let's just see where this goes. What are you struggling with? Getting my ex back. Coping with a breakup. Moving on. Dating. Building attraction. Breaking unhealthy relationship patterns. Dealing with mixed signals. Cheating. Other not listed. I'm going to say we click on cheating. Oh, I was going to say uh, mixed signals. Mixed signals. Oh, you bitches go- be bicycles, man. Bitches be bicycles. <laughs> they just, bitches be bicycles. You guys just fist pumped over that. Yeah, man. <laughs> bitches be bicycles. Okay, I'm hitting next. I'm hitting next. I'm hitting next. Next question. Oh, well, here we go. What year were you born? Oh, there you go. So it's the second question. All yeah. right. So but it always should be the first. Let's put Let's put my year. Let's No, no, no. Let's do the oldest year possible. Oh, it's going to be 19, 1910, 64. No, 1910 is as far back as it goes. So we're going to pick 1910. 1910. This is great. 
Oh my god, that means What's you're your, 130. Okay. Oh my lord. What's your orientation? And there's a lot. Okay, let me read this one. Straight? Oh, you want to read it? Yeah, I want to read it. Wait, there's... Oh, straight? <laughs> Wait, why do you look at the list and go, ah? Oh! Because it's, it's what I thought it's it was. one of them a helicopter? So it's either straight, gay, lesbian, bisexual, questioning, pansexual, asexual, other, I prefer not to share. But isn't asexual... Those Just, are the people that believe in bone marrow babies. No. What's well, a bone yes, marrow baby? But like... Women don't think they need men, so they think they can use their own bone marrow to make a baby. So they don't and need... And those bone marrow babies are going to be retarded, the most retarded well, people. Well, no, they're trying to do the bone marrow from another woman, so that's only kind of for lesbian couples. But yes, so there are some yeah, asexual the, women yeah. who want to do that. This conversation is... Uh, off the rocker. Okay, so are we picking straight or are we going to pick something weird? I mean, not that there's anything weird. I shouldn't have said that. Everybody's fine with their thing, but should we pick I prefer straight? not to share. Oh, I right. think asexual because we were like 130 years old and we're moving on. Oh, that's true. That's asexual, true. Asexual, yeah. asexual, asexual. Okay, asexual. All right, what's your gender pronoun? Male, he, him. Female, she, her. Non binary or fluid, they, them. Or other unlisted? Other unlisted. They, them. Why they them? I was kind of leaning towards they them too, but other I mean, unless I'm it's fine. fine. With it. All right, uh, fine they them, anyway. they them. What's your current relationship relationship? What's your blah, blah, what's blah. your current relationship status? I could already have said that without <laughs> you even saying the word. Well, I'm glad you did because I couldn't get it out. All right, we got single in a relationship, married. Oh, we should definitely put married. Yeah, why would married. we put married? Because why are we feeling this out? We're married. We're looking. This is just. We should just. Be, we're already like a hundred years old. One hundred thirty-eight. One hundred thirty-eight years old. We we were they them. We should just, really? Let's just put married. I'm putting married. Wait, no, wait. It's not thirty-eight. It's, it's just one hundred thirty, right? All right. What's your partner's ex's gender and pronoun? One ten. One ten. Yeah. Nineteen. What's yeah. our partner's pronoun preference, y'all? Uh. 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 He, them, they, them, she, them, he, he, she, he. What's the deal? She, she, uh, she, she, them. She, 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 her? Is her. there a she, he? That would be a shem. No, it would be a shmail. Shmail. There's no shmail answer. I'm in the shmail. I'm putting, I'm putting she, her. Okay. okay. How old is your partner? Oh, Jesus. Well, we got to get uh, up in the... Make, 94. Make it 43. Yeah, that's good. Half of our age. Wait, well, half, that's not half That's not half. half. I just, I'm going to put 50. Oh, wait. I'm, I got it. What? I, I'm going to put 69. Yes. Right, nice. Do you think these people know that we're trolling them right now? Probably not. All right, are you living together with your partner? No. Yes or no? No, because we're in I'm going to put no. We're in, yeah, we're going to put no. Have arguments between you and your partner, if they are the one you're seeking coaching about, ever become physically aggressive? Is there a beat the fuck out of me? Yes, we both have gotten physically aggressive before. I'm not sure. Yes, they've gotten physically aggressive before. Yes, I've gotten physically aggressive before. Both. Nothing physical, but I felt scared or threatened. Or no, not applicable. Both gotten physical before. No, I think she. she I think I've never been physical. What she has. So I'm they've fine. gotten physically aggressive. Yeah. I'm fine with that. All right. All right. Yeah. Fine. Uh, what type of relationship coaching you're looking for? Coaching for me, couples coaching, or not sure. Coaching from her specifically. Any questions? Well, that's I don't know, but that's not an answer. I got to put coaching for me. Coaching for couples me. Couples coaching or not sure. Coaching, coaching for, for me. me. Oh, coaching for me. Um, let us know if you prefer any of these coach specialties. Anxiety, okay. mental health, trauma, sex issues, addiction, LGBTQ. We should put addiction just because that's always a fun one. Addicted to what? Porn. Cocaine. Cocaine Why porn. Cocaine. Cocaine. Cocaine wasn't even around in the tent. Oh, yes, it oh, was. Cocaine's old. Cocaine. Really? Yeah, yeah, they've always had cocaine. Yeah. It used to be the least. I thought it was spiked in the room. 80s and like. Yeah. But, but like it's, always been around. Around. it's always been around. I can uh. look it up. When was cocaine? Okay, now it wants me to give it an email address and. And actually, like, do it. Put frogk472 at gmail.com. I mean, would you be mad if you gave her your, your email address? I'm filling it out. Hold on. Was cocaine. All right, I did it. Have you ever had thoughts of self-harm or suicide? We no. Just, we just put no to that one. All right, almost done. Are you up for taking a six-minute... Oh. Okay, do we really have six minutes for a personality okay i'll just put it, what it wants us to do is a profile a personality profile but it takes six minutes i don't yeah no we're not doing that. We're maybe done. later we're done next thing on the agenda it keeps going this goes on forever okay i'm just gonna start clicking answers without looking at them oh wait nope now i want them to know the name and then the next thing is a coach you could so this is like a live chat with someone who will help you right now with it this is a pretty cool site if yeah. you were having a real problem instead of being fuckwads like us <laughs> they're gonna get this this information 
and they're going to be like, you know. <laughs> what, what was that? I, I may have entered our sound guy's email address instead of ours. Oh, did you really? Yeah. I thought you I thought you put in the one I put. Frogman or something? Frog K four seven two at gmail. I guess I can go back. You should no, go don't go back. We're already done with 59. this. Wait, that's how old we are? The Germans. The Germans invented cocaine in 1859. What? You're telling me. Hold up. You're telling me Hitler did cocaine. Oh, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. Tons of cocaine. But Hitler wait, is my hero. I don't think Hitler. Wait, 1859. How old was Hitler in 1859? He was alive. I think. Was he? I don't know. Look no, up. I don't think he was. He was just barely not alive. By a German chemist. chemist. The what, German. What year Albert was that? Neiman. Just look up what year was Hitler born. I know. No, I'm talking about the year for cocaine. 1859. Oh, 1859. He died in the 19... What year? Got it. 40-something? He was born on... In 89. He was born in 89. Yeah, so... The, yeah. the year it was made. Wow. Pastor Whoa. Quid's church to become a stripper really became a whole thing there, didn't it? Yeah. And cocaine. Yeah. We learned about cocaine. <laughs> That's the most important part. I think we just named the podcast. Pastor quits church to become a stripper and, and cocaine. cocaine. No, no. Baby Hitler cocaine. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Baby Hitler that's a good one. dash cocaine. All right. Remember when I said um, there was part of the agenda and it was called uh, Caterpillar of Death and you guys were like, that means my penis or something stupid? He said that yeah, means penis. my penis. I think that means a centipede. And that's what led that, on to that penis That loves naming. people. Um, I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you something funny. It's a caterpillar with... Vomit inducing poison and nice. it's taking over Virginia. Like but Virginia just now, when I read it for the first time, I thought it said caterpillar with vomit inducing poison taking over vaginas. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, can you uh, imagine? I mean, if it's but taking over distance, Virginia. From a distance, it kind of looks like. I get the same. I'm in history class. And again, I'm like, look at the Virginia picture. Dyslexic. It looks like vagina for me. Yeah. I mean, look at the picture of this thing. What is that? It's the. It's the it looks furry. like the inside of a vagina. Wow, kind you of? need to stop getting Vietnamese hookers and come back to America. Yeah, no, it's I don't Malaysian. know what you're fucking. You need a, a human body. This condom. is why I'm making the body condom. Yeah, you don't have to put your penis in that. <laughs> oh, this okay. Describe what it looks thing, like. Okay, it looks like uh, a chick went through some problems, got dyed her hair black, and then had blonde tips that are sharp. Okay, you ready for my description? Yep. It looks like a toupee on top of some coral. It does look like a toupee. I can agree with that. On coral? <laughs> like I thought it was a hair clip in a girl's hair who, who had over hairsprayed her hair. It does look like she like went through them. Like, can't you just see from a distance? Like, it's kind of like a hair clip. Yeah, it does look like a hair clip. And there's an ad on top of it. Close the ad. All right. Um, so 2020, if you remember the last podcast, we talked about the ants that were coming. The ants. Remember the ants that were swarming around in England or whatever? Yeah. What ants? There was some ants swarming in England. They showed up on a weather radar. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The flying ants. Yeah, flying yeah, ants yeah. Yeah. Now, oh, in 2020, there was all, we've, got, we've, got, we've got murder hornets. We've got these flying ants. And now we've got... No, it was flying, sp was it flying spiders. No, it was flying ants. Was it ants? Yeah. It was ants. Oh. But now we've got fucking caterpillars that vomit poison. Are they big? I mean, that thing um, looks like it was a foot. Yeah, that thing looks like the size of someone's hand. Again, it looks like a toupee. Let's see. The East Coast is getting it on the bad bug. Is getting it on the bad bug action too. A furry poisonous caterpillar that makes. Oh, it makes you vomit. Wow. When it bites you, or yeah, when it, touches when it you? Wait, you. So I vomit poison. You're telling me I can no, be no, venom? no. You no, you vomit. No, it from poisons its, you when you vomit. Yeah. Oh, got it. Can it kill you though? Like, can you over vomit and it just kills you? Well, um, yes, you can over. They're about an inch and a half long. Whoa. What? And the way they describe it is, it looks like. Uh, a shag rug and a clamshell mated. That sounds about yeah. right. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Not that's pretty much what I said. Clam on top of, or uh, two pants. You mentioned no clam. I never, I never said clam. You mentioned a uh, two pay on top of coral. This is what you said. Yeah, coral. Yeah. There's no clam there. No clam. Well, clams limit the and ocean. The, not untrue. <laughs> um, in the ocean. Let's see. It says uh, they, they look really hairy. This person says the person who wrote the article is bald. They would love to have hair like this. So, you know, I, I could see that. Um, so, so how deadly Oh, my God. They're it? called pus caterpillars. Ew. Be funny wow. If called they have pus spines eating. filled with poison. It's the most poisonous caterpillar found in the U.S. And its sting can cause nausea, vomiting, swelling, and itching, and feelings of anxiety. It's not pleasant to say the least. In recent weeks, Virginia residents have unfortunately had a chance to experience this. A woman in the Richmond area touched one and said, like, said it felt like a scorching hot knife passing through out the outside of her calf. 
Nice. She had to go to the ER and take her to the emergency room. So this. one inch and a half caterpillar since I went to the ER. Yeah. I imagine if that motherfucker was like seven feet tall. No, imagine yeah. if he was in that Love and Monsters movie. That Love and Monsters movie, by the way, good. we all watched it. It's pretty good. I heard they're making they're making a sequel. We enjoyed that Love and Monsters yeah. movie. I didn't think it was bad. Yeah, yeah, it's it's confirmed that in 2021 they're going to start shooting the second confirmed. one. Confirmed. It's awesome. Um, They're getting... There, there's more of them now, population. So I guess in the pandemic stuff, animals, if you guys follow that, like animals are kind of coming out. There's more animals around. Yeah. And so these caterpillars Wait, are the same. Animals are coming out? <laughs> yeah, man. Hey, I'm a cow. You, like, I'm going to skunk cow. you. Oh, my God, you guys. I'm such a dolphin right now. Oh, my. Fuck. Oh, <laughs> fuck's up. <laughs> Is that bestiality if, you, if you're an animal that likes to fuck other different species? I don't think it's called that. No, it's How are you even going to Google a thing like that without going to jail? <laughs> what do you call animals that fuck across species? Like, so if a fox fucks a bat, or, what is there a name for or that? A bunny there's, fucks a squirrel. There's not a name a for fat. that. Fat. <laughs> fat. Yeah. There can't be a name for that. A squabbit. You Google it. Squabbit. I'm not Googling squabbit. <laughs> <laughs> and look at that squabbit. You Google a squabbit in Virginia, you go to jail. Oh, my. Imagine. Okay. Should we move on to. The Simpsons. Wait, wasn't Virginia the most populated state with incest? I think no, it was oh, West yeah. Virginia, yeah. then Virginia, and, and then, then Georgia. Georgia, and then Alabama. So you got that shit unlocked, but it took you a second to remember the fucking flying ants? Well, <laughs> Can you name the planets in order? Which planets? <laughs> <laughs> the fucking solar system. Oh, yeah. It goes Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars. No. Mercury, Mars, Earth, Venus. No. Earth is the third fucking one. Er, yes. Yeah, you know how I know that? Mercury's the closest. Jimi Hendrix taught me that. Yeah. It goes did. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars. Oh, God. Okay. What's the next one? Without looking it up, what's the next one? Where were you at? After Mars? Mars? Yeah. Um, Saturn, Jupiter? Saturn, Neptune, Jupiter. Pluto? Yep. Yep. That could be wrong. No one should trust me. No one should trust me either. All right. I know you guys are going to be in on this and love this one. Here's 30 times that the Simpsons predicted, predicted the, the future. future. Yep. Yeah, I've read some of this. I don't know why my, my music keeps stopping and playing and not playing anymore. Wrong. 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 They did not predict me, okay? I'm unpredictable. Unpredictable. Oh, look. Here's a clip. <clears throat> Let's see if it plays. I bet it's going to be that looper. 1600. Oh. It's Bart. Excellent question. Yes, I am proud to be America's first straight female president. Just to be Hillary Clinton. Okay. Helen, wasn't I wearing a hat? Yes, yes, you were. Now, in conclusion, my administration will focus on the three R's: reading, writing, and refilling the ocean. Thank you very much. All right. Writing well. doesn't start with the R, but okay. As you know, we've inherited Wait, the Simpsons. Yeah. Yeah, it's the Simpsons. It isn't my bad. <clears throat> All right. Well, I saw that one where it's like someone's uh when Trump goes down the escalator, escalator. Yeah. And someone drops a sign, but someone also dropped the sign. The Simpsons. And I was like, oh my god. Oh yeah, so, yeah, yeah. And yeah, yeah. someone predicted, and the Simpsons predicted Trump's yeah. death, but he hasn't died yet. So this, they haven't predicted this that yet. website keeps kicking off the music. I don't care for that. I don't care for that. All right. I like so, the music. Is this this, this is, is our music? Oh, wasn't a new track. Uh, yeah, this is a new track. You know, we got, I like we it. got new tracks happening all the time. Bow, bow. All right. So the Donald Trump <coughs> Trump presidency season eleven episode seventeen, what we were just playing is yeah. they predicted Trump would be president. But season eleven, aren't they like on season thirty now? I don't know what they're on. I know it's, it's thirty. Wait, is it still coming on? Yeah, yeah. Thirty eight. I think it's on thirty eight or thirty nine. Oh, we got to watch some of that. I haven't watched did, it. Did in you not a see the pandemic special? Oh, that's not, the, that not was the South Park. Not the South Park one, but like the pandemic special of Simpsons. No, I didn't see that. Well, there's there's one about that. It's about oh, the election. It. How there's a whole apocalypse thing going on. Um, they have current or they have correctly predicted the Super Bowl, season three, episode fourteen. Is this about one about Tom Brady? Uh, they predicted or the Patriots. Washington Redskins would win. Oh. Um, they oh Disney buys Fox. Oh. Season ten, episode five. Um, smart watches mm-hmm. like Apple watches. They predicted predicted that in season six, episode nineteen. Autocorrect. They fucking predicted autocorrect. What? Yeah. That's annoying. That's really crazy. Or did that inspire the idea for autocorrect? Um, And if the thing is, if that inspired the idea, what inspired (laughs) them to do the idea of autocorrect? So here you go. 
So this is a case where the Simpsons not only made a prediction, but actively contributed to the event. A quick gag has bullied Dolph, writing the memo, beat up Martin on his Apple Newton. The text tran- then translates to eat up Martha, a clear crack at the PDA's poor handwriting recognition. Uh, sources allege that years later, when Apple was working on the iPhone keyboard, employees knew <coughs> that was the part they had to nail. They even were quoted. They even would quote "Eat up Martha" to each to each other to signal the feature's importance. Well, they fucked up because oh. every time I type in "not," it comes up as "n i t knit." Every time I type in "fuck," duck comes up, and it's really annoying. Quack, 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 you, know, you know how to change that? Ow! You go into yeah. You can go There's, into your series and you. No, 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 no. If you if you highlight the word and then look it up. Google will correct it and then Siri learns it and stop. Mine doesn't call it say duck anymore. Mine just says fuck now. You lucky Well, bastard. normally when people say fuck to me, it's, it auto corrects a duck and then I type in quack quack bitch. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's foul. Okay. That was funny. Yeah. It, it was. Oh, thanks. Okay. Um, stealing cooking grease for cash. I don't know what. Did people stealing cooking grease for cash? Is oh, my even- God. Would y'all eat, K- or sorry, would y'all use KFC Listerine? What I use, like to make my breath smell like chicken? No, it's like it's like uh, the grease oil for like they cook the chicken in, but it's Listerine. Like it's a flavor of that oil. Sure. Thank you. Um, FIFA's corruption scandal and World Cup results. They predicted all of that. Did you know there's a uh, there's a thing with Madden covers, and that person it has like a curse. Yeah. Yeah, whoever's on the cover of Madden. Yeah, yeah but except except this year. It like, was uh, Patrick Mahomes. on. Oh, he broke the curse? Yeah, he broke the curse. That's unrelated to everything we're talking about. Well, you oh, talked about the FIFA. The, you talk, you talk about <laughs> the FIFA. That was actually the one thing I can actually connect to. <laughs> yeah. Fuck, man. All right, the Beatles sending bladed fan mail. You know about that, right? No. So no. I think Ringo. But I don't care. Move on. Went I'm back joking. and like never stopped going through fan mail. Yeah. And eventually... Was sending them out, so people were getting fan mail they sent to Beatles in the '60s, but he, they were he was sending out like in the '90s. He's like sending back like, "Thanks for the fan mail. I think that I love that you're a fan." Or whatever. That's yeah. my Ringo Starr voice, by the way. All right, I like it. Um, you guys know Sieg, Siegfried and Roy, the big tiger guys, and the tiger attacked him. Happened on The Simpsons before it happened. And what's fucked yes, up about this about is it. I saw this episode and thought that's crazy. When it happened in life, I remember yelling out, "The Simpsons predicted this." Really? Yeah. Didn't they predict the uh, uh, what's his name, Steve Irwin? No. Oh, they might. We, we, the guy uh, that we died of the stingray? Oh, I don't know. Oh, what's his name? I think they did predict that. What's his name? Steve Irwin. It's Steve Irwin? Yeah. yeah. I'm mighty. Yeah. That's a really yeah. weird act. Who's uh, Steve Irwin? The guy that... The crocodile hunter. Yeah. Are you talking about the guy from River Monsters? No, no that's a different, different guy. guy. What? <laughs> what's the guy's name from River Monsters? River Monster guy. I don't know yeah, his name. Yeah, I don't know his name. I Nobody knows his Monster. name. You know why he's not as famous as fucking Steve Irwin, but you Motherfucker don't know who... swam with piranhas. Steve Irwin was a piranha. I, I don't know. All right. You know, there's a thing where he like the most like the animals he was dangerous or scared of, and some of them were really weird. I can't really remember of them, but well, some because they're weird. deadly as fuck. One of them was a sloth, I think. Oh, a sloth will fuck you up. Yeah, I know. Yeah, have yeah. y'all have y'all heard about the prehistoric very slowly? Sloths? Yeah, they're very big. The, the big prehistoric ones. sloths were like six to seven feet tall. They lived in the grounds and shit, yeah. and they could run up to like ninety miles an hour. Good Christ! Uh, they predicted the U.S. winning the gold and curling in the Olympics. Um, they predicted that an average Joe goes into space, which happened in 2013. Uh, they here's the one that's great. They predicted Lady Gaga's Super Bowl performance so much that there's a video of a side by side of her performance and the Simpsons version of it. Well, here's the thing. Sometimes I gotta wonder, like, is it because the Simpsons did it, or is it just like Simpsons did it? Forgot about it for like you know. Nine. I think I think they forgot. About it. I think the Simpsons sit around things. What would be mo- what would be like crazy and fucked, and then you know, truth is stranger than fiction. Crazy fucked shit happens. Yeah. Uh, faulty voter machines, voter fraud. Simpsons predicted that. They're not a fraud, okay? They're telling the truth. I've won. I've won. This goes on forever. I mean, there's there's more than thirty of them. Ebola outbreak. Oh, yeah, no, there's like hundreds of them. Um. Holstrom winning the Nobel Prize in economics. Yeah, man. Like- Selling ferrets as toy poodles. What? Yeah, that was the thing that went on for a bit. What um, year? The three-eyed fish. What year did the poodle thing happen? Yeah. Um, I don't have a year, but... Um, Are you ready for this? I know that it did happen. Steve Irwin, two of the main ones he's afraid of is parrots. 
Oh, uh, okay. And hippos. Oh, I'm scared to death oh, of hippos. Hippos will, will fuck you up. Yeah, I know that, but parrots, I'm, I'm a little confused about. I think, I think I read that he had like a little pass thing with a parrot in the nest of them. Well, he could go on our dating site we were talking about earlier, and he can get help with He's that relationship. Dead. This website helps everybody, Duracell. It yeah. doesn't matter. My bad. It doesn't matter. Okay. Perfectly timed music pause. Um, Guys. I have to tell you something. We're on the question of the month. We've come. It's Quam, okay? We've come Quam. To- Quam. If you say question of the month, I'm going to hit you. Quam. 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 That's a weird thing we're doing. <laughs> Quam. I really like Quam better. Quam? Quam. 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 Because it's like question you're saying crumb. of the month. What? Say it again. Quam. How am I saying it? Quam. Quam. You're using a. You're supposed to use a U. Quam. Quum. Quam. 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 It sounds like you're saying crumb. I don't like that. Yeah, like quam. It's like you're saying crumb, but with a Q and yeah, no R. Yeah, you sound like a no childish p- little bitch. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. Shit. Quam. Okay. Quam okay. 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 In oh. in in honor of the Rizza and his meditation. Uh-huh. I keep thinking of Lizzo every time you say yeah, that. Yeah, me too. Well, Lizzo we can do it in honor of Lizzo. I don't no, give a fuck. No, I don't really. Uh, I'm not a big fan of Lizzo. throw my hands back. Check my nails, baby. How you- oh, sorry. Why was uh, it Southern? It sounded like you are about to do a country song. I think of her and I think of fried chicken and the whole thing happens oh, in my head. Oh, because she's black, huh? No, because she's fat. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> because wow. She's- you know what's funny? If Lizzo like, listens to this and like you demands to be on the podcast. I would have her. Wait, when you guys see a, full on roast a fat person, don't you think a chicken? Am I the only no. person? No. Just listen. What? Hold up. Hold up. I thought pause. that was universal. I see a big fat guy. I'm like, fried. No, so I Lizzo, think how many if you do listen have. to this, I just want you chicken. to know that coach did not say anything about your weight. <laughs> oh, All women are queens. She's a bad bitch. Okay. Raise your hand if you've seen Lizzo in concert. Only me. No, I've seen her in concert. No, you haven't. On YouTube. That's bullshit. I went to her fucking show with my niece, bitch. I'm not. I'm not a big fan of her per, like music, but she seems like a cool person. It was a great show, I have to say. Yeah. I don't. I went. I took my niece, but I really liked it. To be honest, when I saw like the album cover, you know the one where she's like in that brown thing. Yeah. She looks skinnier, and then I saw pictures. I kind of like don't want her to be skinnier. I want her to just be her. Like if she wants to be skinnier, she should be skinnier. But if not, she should just be her. This is a very uh, toxic. Uh, All right, let's go in the qualm. I only want fried chicken now. Okay. In That's honor really of meditation and inward, uh, looking inward, if you looked into the heart of your enemy. Wait, 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 wait. Look, looking inward or, or like looking inward? Looking inward. <laughs> That's what I thought you yeah. said. And I was like, I, wait. I'm, uh, looking inward, like looking into something. Like into okay, the future. Okay. Not, not looking inward. Also, I thought you said licking, and I thought you said licking the inward. And I'm like, what? No, no. looking inward. Got it. Uh huh. <laughs> Quam. 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 Okay. If you looked into the heart of your enemy, what did what do you think you would find that is different from what is in your own heart? They were raped. <laughs> and I was a survivor. You went there so quickly. I'm sorry. Just like when I just think of the opposite of what would ever happen to me. Because I don't think anyone could ever rape me. I mean, Mm, we can prove that wrong today. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. I just don't think. Like, I mean, if, what are the chances of a, a a guy getting raped? I know it happens. It's, it's, it's low. Very low. It's not as low as you think. Though. No, I think it's. I think it's low because of, I think it's it depends on the age. I think it really just depends on the age because I feel like a pedophile like would you know. Here's the fucked up thing about a guy getting raped. Are you ready? More than likely, if a woman gets raped, who did it? Yeah, it's a man. A man. More than likely, if a man gets raped, who did it? Man or a woman? No, probably a man. Well, yeah, probably a man. Which means that mostly, if you're going to be a rapist, you're probably a dude. I mean, I think the statistics of female rape is really low. Okay, like so what do, you, what do you think like the one out of a hundred chance of a man being raped is? Four. One out of four? Yeah. No, I would no go a one, oh, hundred, one like, four, let's four let's out of a hundred. Like, let's say like this, like one out of four men have been raped. Like, what do you think? What? I don't know how to explain. I it. think that out of a hundred, what is the statistic? I'm you telling say? you, yeah, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I think out of, out of 100 people, uh-huh. 100 men, four of them have been raped. I think out of 200 men, eight of them have been raped. <laughs> Fucker, <laughs> what's the fucking answer? Well, I don't know why I said well, out of 100. What so is it? Just read, <laughs> just read, read the, one in every 71 men. Oh, that's about. I wonder what the women is. Oh, it's probably higher. 35 out of yeah, 100. Yeah, but it's higher, sadly. 
Yeah, that's yeah, like, really fucked. Fuck, I bet it's like 30. Yeah, I think 35%. 35 out of 100. God damn it. I hate fucking Google. When I said the men one, it just like popped up like in bold. Yeah. Now I have to go through websites. To Honestly, thought he was shit. Say I don't want to do this. Well, I think it's such a high statistic that. Well, what do you think it is? I'm guessing like one. It might be as high as 50. No, 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 no. Somebody no, no. told me one in every four women has been raped. Somebody told me that recently. Like it's well, one. That's twenty five percent of a hundred. Yeah, yeah. Which I but uh, but knowing how things grow, I would say thirty five percent, maybe forty. Okay, it's fucked up. Yeah. We've decided this question somehow led, led us to believe that men are rapists. And well, you guys never answered the question though. What's the question? Oh, the actual question. Fuck. The qualm. <laughs> <I> fucking <laughs> forgot. The qualm. Okay. Well, what basically what's different in your enemy's heart than your heart? I, he's my enemy, but like, here's the thing. I'm gonna tell you, it's wow, probably that one you just, out of every six women get raped. Yeah, I knew it was gonna be pretty fucking high. Wait, six? Okay. So if you see six women in a room, one of them has been raped. It's fucked up, right? Yeah. And probably two of them have had some kind of like non-rape, but still sexual assault. And also, women that 58 percent of women that get raped are 18. Oh, they're young. Yeah. They're lower. They're under thirty. Rape is such a weird fucking thing to me. It is also child predators too. Yeah, all of that. I think they should just all burn. Yeah. Okay. Duracell. Yeah. You're looking into the heart of your enemy. You okay. ready? What do you see that's different from your heart? I really don't understand the question. I'm too stupid. Okay. To understand Let's the question, look at it this way. So. Look at it this way. Really. Don't. Comparing yourself to your enemy. What is one moral difference you find different? Oh, that is. Oh, like what they do differently than me? Yes. Like what? What they would think differently? Like if if you saw a woman getting robbed. Normally, I would think, oh, man, I should call the cops or help. Okay. But my enemy would be like, yeah, take that bitch's shit. Give me some of it. I'm going to say something that's probably controversial and not in the way that you think. I don't really have any enemies. Yeah, I, I'm, yeah, I would say the same thing. Like, I feel like if I look ac- if I if I look over and I see somebody getting robbed and, and before that I saw them, like, beating a woman, I'd probably still save them, but then be pissed, like, handle both things, right? Like, you shouldn't be beaten. They should. You shouldn't have been doing the beating. Like, I'd save both situations okay but i have a question a guy so a girl gets raped by a guy but then a gay guy rapes the guy for raping the girl who's the victim it's it's tuesday man (laughs) (laughs) like come on but am i wrong who's the victim it's fucking taco tuesday and you're making this shit way too deep no i i feel like they're all victims in that, in some sense. Okay, so here's what? the thing, though. People are born, they're not fucked up. For the most part, they're born... But they that haven't guy had, did it for the girl. I, there are cases where people are born and they're broken inside and they're never going to be right, right? Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But mostly, people are born like we were born. Loving families, uh-huh. and then you go through life and you hit a thing and something happens that make you makes you process information differently and take different actions. And I think you could always be turned around and say, that doesn't mean you shouldn't be have consequences. Yeah. You spend the fucking life in jail. If you do some wrong shit, right? Yeah. But as far as my enemy goes, I don't walk around the earth going enemy, 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 enemy. There are people I don't like. I just yeah. don't go around them. But if I saw them being injured, I'd probably still help them. See, oh, I'm no. the type of person, if, no. like, if I see someone on the streets getting robbed, I mean, there's like a 50-50 chance I'll help them or not. Like, it's sort of not my business, you know? <laughs> I, I know it's, like, public, but it's if sort of I'm not my business. If, it, if it's between my friends and, like, his... Like someone else, I'd if I'm walking down the street with my family and I see somebody getting robbed, I'm going to stay with my family, protect them, and try to call 911. Right? But well, if, yeah, I'm, if I'm by myself and I'm not putting anybody I love in danger, I'm definitely going to stop the robbery. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. I'm not saying well, I wouldn't call 911. I'm saying I wouldn't like. Yeah, go you wouldn't go over and be like, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So if you're Listen asking the serious. question, your enemy's getting robbed, and you see your enemy getting robbed, yeah, I, I, nine times out of ten, I probably wouldn't help him. Well, you know. But that one time. It's probably because he got his ass beat. Like, bad, bad. And you feel bad? And I was like, eh. Kind of makes up for what he did. And also yeah, depends on what my enemy Scott. did. Because, like, if my enemy... <laughs> thinking of my Who enemy... My enemy would have, like, done something really morally fucked up. Can we just take a moment? <clears throat> I think we should end the podcast on this note. When you're doing, like, reflection on the on your soul if you somehow make it back to your fucking cum thing no okay no when you're looking at my apple you're, juice when you're looking around and you're like what makes me who i am what makes me tick and what makes my 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 fellow man tick and how do we gel and become tickling. together it's important to realize how much apple juice you have left <laughs> who's gonna come back to my apple juice <laughs> you just all of a sudden One of you yelled, fuckers drank it it wasn't me it was looking you, coach. at coach oh wait apple juice you drank the apple juice didn't you 
Dude, I had to drink the. It was apple juice. That was mine. It's just like how you took my last wing the other day. I okay. like. Come on, man. But listen, listen. Just fucking. Over.